Hi everyone, I'm Anna Kanat and I'm the Assistant Beauty Editor at Real Simple Magazine and today we're talking quick and easy hairstyles. So like everyone this year, we're going through a lot of changes. The Real Simple staff is still working from home. So in my typical remote work fashion, I have business on the top and pajamas on the bottom. Even with all the changes this year, one of the things that has not changed is time and we still don't have tons of hours in the morning to spend getting ready. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my go-to hairstyles that I've been using either right before a Zoom call or right before I've had to get ready that have been my tried and true for something cute and easy when I'm in a rush. So the first style I'm gonna show you is a sleek low pony. This is super easy and it's super good for those mornings when you just don't have a whole ton of time. So all you really need is a simple elastic and then a hair brush. So what I do is I make sure my hair is parted down the middle. And as you guys have seen from my other videos, I like things to be a little messy, a little lived in. So that's just my personal style. If you like it to look a little sleeker, a little more exact, you do you. But I like it to have a little bit more of a natural bounce. So I just gather my hair back like you would for just any normal ponytail. And then take your brush and brush the sides down. So normally for a ponytail, I don't care about the bumps. For me, the more bumps, the more bumps, the better. But in this case, you want it to look a little flatter, a little sleeker to give that more sophisticated feel. So after you get things to be nice and gathered, you just take your elastic as you normally would and secure it in the back. These, I can usually get three wraps around my hair, but every day is different with these hair ties. And then what I do is I pull towards the back and I just loosen so that, again, it's not super tight. If you like it tighter, you don't have to do it. But for me, I like it to be a little looser. Now that I've loosened it up a little bit, I pull out my front two pieces of hair like this. These trendle things are coming back. Again, if you don't like it, you don't have to do it yourself, but I kind of like the touch that they add. And then at that point, it's just pulling, doing a little bit of details to get it exactly right. And so there you have it, just a sleek, easy, low ponytail. It seems super simple, but it looks really polished. One of my other go-tos is a high messy bun. And this one, all you really need is an elastic, like I said before, and some bobby pins. The way you start with this one is I like to bend over and get all my hair gathered at the top of my head. So for me, the higher the better. So what I do is I fold my hair through the elastic one time, make a single cross, and then do that over again. And then instead of pulling it through the final time, I secure it in a bun like this on the top of my head. Don't be alarmed, we're not done yet. So, I take the remaining hair that would normally be pulled through, and then you start to pull it around the bun, so then you can't, you kind of disguise your elastic, and you kind of are making the base for your messy bun at this point. So after I've secured this hair down, again, we're not finished, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> but I take these kind of like flopping pieces and then I secure them with, you guessed it, more bobby pins. And then after I get it more to a place where I want it, I have a lot of hairs that are kind of flyaways that just stick out wherever they want. So I grab my bobby pins and I just pin those to the back of my hair so they're not sticking out and not showing up. And then you just kind of pull and perfect it the way that you like. You can pull it out from here or up on top of the bun. So this is the final look. All my hair's on my face. It's all on top of my head. And like I said, it's not that complicated. It's super easy. It just takes a ton of pins. 
So the last style I'm gonna do, I call it a party pony because it's kind of just a regular little pony with a twist. I do a lot of different styles like this, but this one is gonna be a little bit lower and more to the side. So for this one, I'm just gonna use an elastic and then I'm also gonna use a few little clear elastics. Um, I said this a little earlier in the video, but this is my second day hair. So it has a little bit more grip, a little bit more texture and can hold these styles a little bit better. Um, always make sure you have your dry shampoo on hand to get rid of any excess oil that you don't want showing. But the dry shampoo also can create a little bit more volume and give you a little more lift with these styles. So when I'm doing this pony, I like to keep my hair parted to the side. So I don't want to make it so I have a middle part. I just think the side part looks a little bit better. And then I just secure the hair at the bottom kind of at the base of my neck and a little bit more towards the side. You can pick whatever side that you choose. This doesn't have to be tight. Like I said, I don't like my style super tight. Now with this, I like it to look a little bit more than just a low side pony. So what I sometimes do is I grab a small chunk of hair, nothing that big, and I divide that hair into three sections. Finished, I take one of these little guys, these just secure elastics, you can get these at any drugstore, they're super cheap, and I tie. If you use a regular elastic, I think it just looks a little too chunky, and they fall out really easily because this is just such a small amount of hair. So, after I've done that, I like, like to pull the braid out a little bit. Again, these little elastics are good for being more secure in that way. So you just kind of like give it a little bit more thickness and a little bit more texture. And so then when you walk around with the pony, it's kind of a more bohemian look to have a little bit of a braid with it. Now I have my elastic showing, which you can obviously do if you want, but if you don't like the look of that, just grab a little piece from the back and a few bobby pins. You know, we always have our body pins handy. And then you just wrap it around. To completely cover that elastic. And I think that that adds just a little touch. It makes it look more natural, kind of like you did this really intricate thing and were able to tie your hair into its own ponytail, which I certainly cannot do, but I can definitely think. And then you just put it down like this, and it's just a cute, like, like I said, it's a little bit more bohemian. It's a little bit more of a effortless, natural look, which is the kind of thing that I like to go for, but it doesn't take that long. It just takes a few easy tweaks to make it a little bit more elegant. All right, thank you guys. There you have it. Those are the three hairstyles that have been my go-tos lately. I hope that you guys like them. I hope you try them out for yourself. If you do, try a uh, comment on this video and tell us how it went. Um, you can follow us at real underscore simple on social media, or you can head to realsimple.com, or you can subscribe to our print magazine and see what we're doing there. Again, I'm Anika Knott. I'm the assistant beauty editor, and I hope you liked it.